What's going on guys? As a web developer, we all have this confusion about choosing the right front-end framework. So today I'm gonna break it down for you and help you choose the best framework in 2020. The numbers and stats shown in this video are taken from some of the most trusted sites like Google Trends, NPM Stats and Wikipedia. Watch this video till the end and you will never have this confusion again in your mind. So without wasting much time, let's get started ranking the top 3 most popular front-end framework in 2020. Angular Angular is an open source JavaScript framework to build single page application across a web and even mobile apps. It was developed by Google and initially released in 2016. Angular version 2 and above are known as Angular and those which are below version 2 are known as Angular JS and we are talking about Angular in this video. There are many companies like Forbes, Sony and HBO that uses Angular in their project. Unlike React and Vue, it doesn't use a virtual DOM which means that it will take longer time to render the elements and if the dome structure is more complex, it can attract a lot of bugs. It uses a two-way data binding. In short and simple, data binding is the process that establishes a connection between the user interface and the data it displays. Since Angular uses two-way data binding, its performance is slower as compared to other frameworks which use one-way data binding. Angular is also known as a complex and verbose framework with multiple ways to solve a single problem and it uses TypeScript as a primary language. So if you want to master Angular, you must be familiar with TypeScript. Angular uses Jasmine test framework to run a test and the Angular CLI download and install everything you need to test an Angular application. Angular also has a large community. It had approximately 155 million downloads in the last two years. And finally, it has a high demand in the job market. So overall, Angular is relatively slow as compared to other top frameworks and is suitable for larger projects. It has a steep learning curve. Testing is very easy in Angular. It has a large community and support from Google as well. And it is very popular and used by many big companies in their project, which makes it highly demanded in the job market. So if you are looking for a job or want to build a robust web application, Angular is a good option. View. Vue is an open source JavaScript framework for building user interfaces and single page applications. It tries to extract the best features of Angular and React and combine it into a single framework. It was developed by Evan Yu, who is an ex-employee of Google. It uses virtual DOM like React which makes it faster than Angular. Vue also has various built-in options so you can use one of the built-in options for unit testing with Jest or Morcha easily. It has a vibrant community support which is blooming and actively contributing to the development of the framework. Grammarly, Alibaba.com and GitLab are some of the companies that uses Vue. Despite being a popular framework, it has less demand in the job market as compared to Angular. The data binding in Vue is two-way like Angular. It had approximately 93 million downloads in the past two years. And it has a gentle learning curve, so you can start making your first Vue app with no prior knowledge of ES2015 TypeScript or JSX. All you really need is a basic understanding of JavaScript, HTML and CSS. So overall, Vue is fast, simple and flexible and it has a gentle learning curve. Testing is easy as well. Also it has a great community support. And unlike Angular, the demand for Vue in the job market is not so high. So if you want to enhance your skill in web development with latest technology or if you want to build a highly responsive web application in less time then you may want to check out this framework. React React is the most popular JavaScript library for building user interfaces. Over the last two years, it had approximately 499 million downloads. It is not a framework, it is an open source library developed by Facebook in 2013 and is maintained by Facebook and the open source community. Many web apps that you are using like Facebook, Instagram and Uber are built using React. It has become the most popular library among all other front-end framework or library due to its unique features. Like it uses virtual DOM and one-way data binding which makes it extremely fast and bug-free. React is very simple to learn and is a lightweight library that only deals with a view. A React app consists of multiple components and each component decides how it should be re-rendered and each of these components have their own internal logic. So you can use the same component anywhere you need which makes it a whole lot easier to debug, less coding time, easy to maintain and more readable code. Unlike Angular, React provides a good abstraction which means that it doesn't show any complex internals to the user which makes it much more simple. Also, 
It has an extremely huge community support, detailed documentation, and many tutorials, which makes it possible to learn the most popular front-end library of 2020 much easier than you think. You can test React using Jest, which is embedded in every React library and requires zero configuration. So overall, React is extremely fast, simple, flexible, easy to learn, easy to use, and easy to test. It has a huge community and support from Facebook. Also, there is a huge demand for React in the job market. So whether you're looking for a job or want to work as a freelancer or just want to enhance your skill, React can be the most helpful option in 2020.